Hello everybody, my name is Elvor Liev and today I'm gonna help you to get started with a BNO 055 uh, IMU sensor. Um, so, the sensor itself uh, has uh, accelerometer, gyroscope, mag magnetometer inside it and uh, it is uh, very kind of powerful and also pretty complicated sensor to work with, but uh, yeah, I think uh, by putting some time to it you can actually uh, get a lot out of it and uh, you can communicate with this sensor uh, different ways whether it's a I2C, UART or HID or I2C possibilities uh, I recommend you not to use a UART uh, we have had some issues with this, but the I2C is a pretty, a pretty nice uh, way to communicate, and uh, we're gonna use this uh, to do that. Uh, I'm gonna start as always by opening a STEM Q QB mix and making the new project with. Uh, So, and uh, for my F4 board, of course. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm used to just clean everything, put the clock a little bit higher frequency, and uh, yeah, for we need to print out something, so we're gonna activate this one and uh, for I2C uh, I'm going to use I2C1 uh, and I'm going to also activate uh, DMA uh, for that the thing is that I'm using the goes for my old project where we used it and uh, as an example so it's just easy to easier to do like that and uh, one more thing I noticed uh, when I s when I programmed uh, this before that uh, you cannot use the I2C1 uh, PB6 and 7 pins uh, because there will be some strange issues so I'm gonna just uh, change the pins to the PB8 and PB9 you can do it by holding the control button and uh, clicking on the on the pin here and you can see where you can can put it there are usually one or two options for every possibility uh, so, uh, and that's it, that's all we need to do in the cube. Uh, I'm going to use the system workbench this time and uh, let's uh, get started. Yeah, I already have the same name project, but I'm going to overwrite it. And uh, let's open the project. And as I'm going to use something from here so uh, first things first uh, let's open the let's close everything let's open the main function and let's uh, get printf working for that I need to copy this and you can actually just copy the syscalls from this here to source folder so Next thing uh, I want to do, uh, if I start, gonna say hello to everybody in my program, and uh, I need to copy some uh, files here. Uh, I have copied here this uh, Excel.c file, and I'm gonna need the uh, headers as well for that. So I'm gonna copy two headers uh, I have uh, everything about the PNO itself uh, with all the uh, registers uh, win and some settings here and the excel.h is just my own uh, information I'm gonna use some functions I have written and stuff like that uh, and if you open the excel dot dot c okay I need to recopy it let's just delete it 
and uh, let's let's get it as well so it should work now yeah so the function we're gonna use first is to initialize the bno is basically setting up all the settings so i'm gonna start it doing that and uh, it wants the uh, handler for write to c as a variable and uh, if i just change some settings here and uh, let's build it just to build it faster so, so it's programmed now uh, to make sure everything is working i used to see uh, what's on the logic analyzer what's happening so let's reset the board uh, we can see that something happened but uh, that's not what i want to ha see oh okay i have some problem here i i have forgotten to include the he header so let's include this as well don't forget that and now then we look at the why oh okay I have I forget to start it so okay very very nice now we have what we want so we can see that we are trying to write into the address uh, 28 28 in x and uh, we want to write the 3d register and we want to write a value zero which is exactly what we have here as a first command so we are using the uh, transpint function for that and don't forget that uh, the address needs to be shifted uh, to left so yes this is our address so okay and we want to write uh, uh, two, two bytes so the register value is one thing we write and the uh, data is the second byte and if you want to read any, any kind of information uh, we have a nice function called get Excel data uh, it's actually getting uh, not only the acceleration but it's getting a magnetic meter and gyroscope as well uh, using the 18 it by uh, bytes uh, from uh, from the register uh, value started with uh, value zero eight and if you open the data sheet and go to the registers uh, we can see that uh, eight is actually they take slow bytes and uh, it's eighteen from that uh, we're gonna end up reading all data until the 19 which is the gyroscope data set higher bytes or bits so yes uh, let's go back to the coding uh, i'm uh, not gonna waste time writing too much this time and uh, i'm gonna just uh, copy some uh, stuff from older code uh, we have some uh, some variables uh, i'm gonna put it here so we have three variables we have a IMU readings we're gonna get from the sensor then we're gonna translate them into the 16 uh, bit uh, ints and uh, for, for accelerometer we, we are not I'm gonna not do anything with a uh, gyroscope and magnetometer data right now and then we need to trans transform them to the float values so we can print them out and for that, uh, I'm gonna save some time by the coping code here. So what we what we are gonna do here, uh, we're gonna delay our f everything uh, by uh, 
300 milliseconds and uh, then we're gonna read the data uh, for that you need the handler and uh, the data variable we have it here uh, so in the email re IME readings will be the data and then we're gonna put two uh, eight bit u ints together and we will get the 16 bit int and then uh, we need to trans uh, divide everything by 100 to get the value in uh, meter quadrat seconds. So, uh, which square meter? This is uh, uh, sorry, meter uh, divided to square second. Uh, why this? It's again when we go back to the data sheet uh, and uh, let's go to the. content and uh, if you go to the where is it uh, let me see output data exactly so we can see that uh, uh, if I find the right place so units what we get from there if we divide it uh, by 100 then we'll get uh, uh, values we actually can understand maybe a little bit better so I'm gonna stop uh, and uh, if you want to print out the float we need to add it here and uh, if now I'm gonna yeah load the code on my controller and uh, in the HTML I can see that data is coming but uh, let's see what is actually happening here as well start it again and let's stop so we are reading from this address and we are getting uh, one two three four five and so on we're gonna get all the 18 uh, bytes we asked for and uh, as you can see this is my IMU sensor being 055 here and if I'm like uh, changing the direction of it we can actually see that uh, the values here are changing and they are pretty logical as well so we can see a little error there but uh, it's uh, nothing, nothing uh, you should worry about and uh, that's basically how you start PVP and now and uh, the address to the git library where my code is uh, will be in the description so thank you for watching and I hope uh, it will help you get starting with PNO 055